Good morning, y'all. I'm gonna be doing a a quick review on this DB Power uh, portable battery charger for you know for your vehicles, small, mid, or large size. Uh, I got it on Amazon for about seventy bucks at the time. I'm not sure exactly where the prices are today, but it is a DB Power. Here's the inside, what it comes with. It comes with your positive and negative terminal and your your reader for codes or anything like that. And it also explains to you the codes in the manual. Uh, let's see. There it is. Also, here is the battery itself. Just key points I do want to mention after having this for roughly about a year and a half, I would say. Um, when you want to charge it, oh, before I get to that, it also comes with its own charger cable. So you want to use that for optimal charging. And I used the box from my from an old iPhone I had and I just left it in there. That way I don't have any issues charging it wherever I'm at. Um, but yeah, when you want to charge this thing, the secret is not listed on this uh, user manual. As you can see right there, it says to switch the jump starter to off when you're not using it. Obviously, if you keep it on on, it's going to drain itself a lot quicker than if you have it on off. The key thing that they don't tell you here is when you charge it, connect it to in and out right here's your charger plugs in and then you charge this right put it to your outlet and if you notice it's not charging the reason being is because you need to have this on on when you turn it on it's going to allow the charge to go through and charge this device for you and you'll notice it here as well when you turn it on on you should start seeing it creep up slowly after after a few after a few minutes. It takes a while, but you should, you know, for whatever reason, if whenever you get your device and it's at 50% charge or wherever it's at, it will take a minute, but you should start seeing that increase go up slowly but surely. But make sure that this is on while this is being charged. Also, Another key feature if you want this thing to last you well. And it also says it in the owner's manual. You want to charge this thing every three months to keep it, to keep the battery, I guess, fresh and running the way it should. Number nine, right here. To, pre to preserve lifespan, recharge the device at least once every three months. I'm charging mine at least every month. The reason being is because I drive to work hours and hours away from home. So I gotta make sure that this thing is charged while uh, I gotta make sure this thing is charged before I leave in case I need to use it at work or at home. And I don't charge it at the house because I just don't like to pull electricity to charge this at my house. I'd rather just charge it at work. They don't charge me. So so yeah, this thing does take a while. If I, if I drop it down to about 50, 50 or less percent charge, it takes half half a day, six, eight hours, I would say. I haven't really timed it, but but yeah, another key feature. Make sure you do charge this every three months, at least, like the manual says, because if you keep this thing in the back of your truck and you want to use it the day you need it and it's been back there for a year, you turn the sucker on, it, it's not even gonna work. It's gonna be completely drained. So on mine, for example, I charged this, I'd say about two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, and it was at a 97% charge. I just turned it on not too long ago before starting this video, and it dropped itself from 97 to about 85. And that's just by it being sitting in my backpack that I keep over there. Uh, I keep that backpack with me. Most of the times I'll keep it in my, my truck when I'm driving. If I get off at home, I'll take it down with me. If I get off at work, I'll take it down with me. 
so I don't keep this in the elements in the back of my truck if it's cold or super extremely hot in the back of my truck inside I don't keep it in the toolbox or you know behind my seat or whatever I like to bring this down because if it gets extremely hot or extremely cold it could damage the battery and not make it run as it should you'll see issues with draining and charging up vehicles and starting them so keep that in mind as well overall i mean i've used this thing a few times already i've gotten a couple co-workers out of a bind and if you're curious what it can what it can turn on the petrol engines up to seven liters and diesel engines up to 5.5 so yeah guys just a quick reference in the owner owner's manual i mean it's a pretty good pretty good product for the price you can also charge your cell phones or tablets Yeah, guys that's pretty much it here's a brand once again db power overall good product guys and i would highly recommend it appreciate you stopping by and checking this out peace